So we had a nice beat in the July jobs report that came out this morning. The U.S. economy adding 943,000 jobs in July, while the unemployment rate dropped to 5.4 percent. Even the labor participation rate improved a bit. Uh, with us now is Kristen Tate, the liberal invasion of red state America author. Kristen, great to see you. Thanks for coming. Now, I don't want to bury the good news because it is good news. The economy's coming back. Americans know how to work. They know how to produce. But we still have 9.3 million unfilled jobs. And that's causing a hell of a problem for companies that want to get back in full uh, compliance with the demand out there. There's a lot of demand with people that have money, but they can't meet the demand. The businesses can't because they can't find the labor. When does that end? Well, that's precisely right. And it ends when the federal government and, frankly, the state governments stop paying these big unemployment checks. We don't have an unemployment problem in this country. We have a labor shortage problem. And the labor force participation rate is still down significantly from where it was before the pandemic. The biggest driver is these checks coming from federal and state governments that basically pay people to stay home. So what we're seeing now, David, is these companies in the private sector basically having to compete with unemployment checks from the government. Companies like Walmart are paying these huge bonuses to employees just to show up for their scheduled shifts. And I'll point out that, you know, small businesses, mom and shop places, they're at a big disadvantage here because unlike the big retailers, they can't keep up with these right. increased costs. 49% of small businesses last month couldn't fill open jobs. Wow. So, you know, I just think these, these unemployment benefits have outlived their use, and, and we've got to get rid of them and if of we course, want the economy to bounce Fewer back. workers means fewer goods and services being produced, and that means higher inflation. Now, President Biden uh, took credit for these, uh, these jobs numbers today, the good jobs numbers. He's not taking blame for inflation, though, should he? <laughs> Well, of course, uh, the government uh, the government needs to just kind of step back and let the private sector do its thing. Uh, the, the, the supply chains have been severely disrupted because truck drivers and factory workers and all kinds of other workers that are really critical to the economy can often make more money staying at home. So because of this labor shortage, cost of everything from coffee to gas to lumber is way up. And who does that hurt most? Of course, it hurts the working class and the right. poor the most. These are folks who still have to put gas in their cars. You know, they still have to go to the grocery stores. So that's that's what's really shameful about this. You know, there's it's the there's, most vulnerable who get hurt most. There's something else that's happened to our, our labor market. And it may be temporary, but but a lot of people are complaining that service isn't what it used to be. It's it's not because the incentives for keeping a job are far less because they people know, well, if I lose this job, maybe I could even make more money getting unemployment benefits. Do you think it's going to be difficult to get that back? Because a lot of folks, particularly in restaurants and places like that, the, the, the lower paying jobs uh, are, are having trouble with, with their workers. That's right. I, I actually think this problem will be corrected pretty quickly yeah. when the unemployment benefits stop. My stepmother owns some restaurants in the Boston area. She's had a lot of trouble keeping employees everywhere you go. I mean, I'm sure your viewers, no matter where they live, you, you see these help wanted signs everywhere. Uh, there's a Dunkin Donuts up in my hometown in New Hampshire that's been closed for a year and they have a sign on the door that says, we're sorry, we're closed because we can't find right. workers. Right. I mean, it's really it's a problem, but I do think it will correct pretty quickly. I when the, I when hope the it does. Stop. I sincerely hope it does. Kristen, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. Good to see you. And now we have some breaking news.